Hey, what is going on everyone? Ice Pop here, bringing you another unboxing video. Today we have the Destiny Gallahorn. So for today, it'll be a very unique video because... Because I gotta be on this side of the camera today because this box is way too big to do at my table like I normally do. Shout out to my sister for helping film this. I'm so excited. I bought this back in July. So it's been nearly like half a year since I got this. Something unfortunate, I'm a big box guy. This got really damaged in shipping. Almost all my Destiny stuff has been broken. It's quite a bummer, but what matters is inside the box, the Gala Horn. Now I'm a Destiny 1 veteran, so this was actually one of the first exotics I've ever got. I originally got it from a purple engram, which if you've been playing from back in the day, used to get blues out of legendary engrams. So get an exotic, that's pretty rare. So I'll kind of turn the box a little bit. Inside looks like we got some, some guts here. I'm already starting to see it take shape. I think this is one of the biggest things on Earth. Oh, this is the main deal. This is the big shebang. Yo. Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't think we'd have this part already. I heard on the internet it's huge. This is huge. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna set that probably right here. There's a lot more to go. That's crazy. Here is the giant whoop, rocket cannon part that'll go on the back end right here. Wow, so we're just kind of getting the guts of the box out. Thankfully, the contents inside were a lot better managed than the outside. I will want to display this box eventually. The backside looks a lot better. I can show that off later. The main deal is this rocket launcher, of course. I know eventually there's an instruction booklet. Looks like a lot of it's on the other end. Probably have to go from that side. So on this side of the box, let me actually flip it around so you can see this side. So this is the other side of the box. Here is kind of the top. I position it this way, looks pretty cool. And then the bottom, I'm not sure how that looks on camera. But, whew, I'm so excited. This rocket launcher is gonna be amazing. All right, we're opening the last side of the box. I've seen some unboxings of this. It's really cool to see it myself. I heard the tape, if you try to peel it, it'll ruin the, the decals on here and all of that. So here's the last part. There's the scope for the Gallahorn. Now the box has been completely done. I'm gonna set that right over here, trying to be gentle with it. Yep, that's the, the iron sight for the Gallahorn rocket launcher. We can show that off in more depth in a little bit. But here's kind of the main stuff. Here's the ammunition for it. Looks like we're gonna have to open it up through here. Something that's really cool is they said there was zero plastic when shipping this, which is very true. So I really like how they were very eco-friendly with this. But here's some of the ammo canisters. These are the pro darts, I think. And these are elites or vice versa. That's what I've seen on some of the other videos. And I think they give you enough Nerf bullets to fill all of these cartridges. And this is the handle for the gallon horn. It's a little stuck. There we go, pretty cool. And then the ammunition. Lots of Nerf darts, like I said. So we're gonna be filling all these on screen. We'll be doing a portion where we're firing it. But to kind of get some closer perspectives of all the pieces, we're gonna be showing you the assembly in just a moment. All right, now we have everything lined out a little bit more. Here's the instruction guide. I'll kind of go through that a little bit. That's kind of the directions of how to actually load it because it's not like a simple load the dart, pull the thing back and fire. There's a whole mechanism just like in the game. It's super cool. Let's uh, assemble the rocket launcher. Obviously we got to get this portion assembled as well as some of the other pieces up here. This should come to a nice click, I would imagine. There it is. Bit noisy, but just have to do it once, I think. And then we're gonna do the scope. So if you'd like to come closer and film me assembling the scope, pretty sure it aligns up like this. It's a little insert right there that kind of keeps it secure and sturdy and locked in. So when you're firing this rocket going 50,000 miles an hour, it'll stay in place. If I can figure out the right groove, I don't want to break it. It definitely doesn't feel fragile. That's something I want to iterate real quick. It's not like this like cheap plastic thing, but this also at the same time wasn't very cheap. I think you just go for it, but I'm kind of scared to like, I don't know, there's like resistance when I'm trying to push it in. There we go, we got it in. Scared me a little bit. Now the last piece is the handle. So looks like there's some groove or a groove right here where it slides in through. Slide it right in and then there we go. So 
for a full standing view. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's so exciting. We'll be firing this off in a bit. Not quite as heavy as people have said in the internet. Maybe I'm stronger than I think, but yeah, this sight is very unclear. I'll do some shots of that later. I'm um, just kind of showing off the size and the scale. That is so cool. This doesn't feel light and cheap. Doesn't feel too heavy where it's a burden. It feels just about right. That's so awesome. So we'll be getting into the firing section in just a moment. If you want to bring the camera in closer, let's look at how to load it real quick. So looking at this instruction booklet, I'm gonna be working off of that. So if I'm following the instruction booklet correctly, you have to slide the Gallahorn forward. It's pronounced Yallerhorn, but if you're a true Destiny player, it's Gallahorn. Sorry, butchering it. Um, eventually this lid should pop up. Should. Oh, you push it even forward further. That's good, I didn't force it open. Then you load one of your many cartridges. That's really awesome to give you enough ammunition. And you load it to where the darts face. That doesn't sound right. It is facing away. So you face it away. There's a little groove here and a groove up here. Kind of helps you guide in the ammo. You click it in, push it down. That is just so cool. I don't know, hopefully that caught on camera. And then you close the lid and you draw it back. So what I've seen is this does take a bit of effort to load. So I'm gonna stand it up. That did take some effort. And then when we fire it, you want to come behind me actually? Let me see if I need like a firing shot. So once you fire the gun, three, two, one. That's pretty cool. Yo, there we go. So after you fire it, I almost forgot this part. To reload it, as you push it forward, it automatically clicks up. Then you just pull the ammunition right out, put in another one, reload it. Pretty simple. That's kind of how it works in the game. So instead of just like loading it in the front, doing something and shooting, you go into the weapon just like the game. I'm a Destiny 1 veteran and I played Destiny 2 a little bit, but that's just like the game. I can't get over how cool that is. Actually be experiencing a futuristic super soldier gun in real life, crazy. All right, so now we're gonna do a firing test to see the distance of how far the shoots. I've seen it doesn't fire the furthest. So if you wanna see me again, We'll be loading this rocket launcher one more time. So crazy we have it. So you get your Nerf missiles. I line it up, push it down, push it down again, close it and pull it all the way back until it clicks. Then if you want to see how far I shoot it. Again, I haven't seen too much of how good it fires, but we're just going to see from inside how far it goes. Three, two, one. Yeah, it kind of descends pretty quick but we're gonna see if we can hit some targets in just a moment. So we have Alec here. He's gonna help me fire this thing. So it's more of like a hitting a target, but to protect myself, I'm going to be having some safety precautions. So practice safety first, everybody. So Alec, I think the ammo came out over here. See if you can hit me from there. See what we can do. Count it down. Count it down? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. That did not hit a good spot. I was going to shield. Oh boy, okay. Oh yeah. So that was the regular larger darts that you find in the orange container. We're gonna do another one with the you know the light or the pro darts, the thinner ones. Typically I've heard these fire further, so we're gonna try that out in just a moment. So after that very unique <laughs> test run, we're gonna be trying the great darts, the smaller ones, and see how that goes. So Alec, whenever you're ready. Trying to hit the shield, we're trying to hit a target, so we're trying to see if the distance works well, so let me know when. Alright, three, two, one. Much better. Yeah, so the green ones, the smaller ones are better. I kind of thought it would be the other way around. But yeah, that's been the firing test. That's awesome. Stone face. I like it. <laughs> that's going in the video. <laughs> All right, everyone, that has been the unboxing of the Destiny 2 slash 1 rocket launcher Gallowhorn. Super cool, super glad to have it after nearly half a year. So glad to finally have it and assemble it for you on video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video.